It's so nice having an auto splitter though. Split pedal, split button, yes. I use a foot pedal for splitting for most games that don't have, or for all games that don't have a uh, auto splitter. Uh, it's pretty convenient for, well, actually any games. Better say for controller games, but for, especially for controller games, but um, keyboard and mouse, it's it's good too. Though you have a lot more of an ability to split during that. You can usually get some pretty okay ones on Amazon, and I I kind of need to find a better one than there. Like it's not the one there is not bad. The the stuff they have up there, but I feel like there's probably better stuff and probably worth the investment. So I use it a decent bit. Though I am getting a new keyboard uh, sometime soon. I don't know when exactly. I'm dashing really early there. I don't know why. I should have probably not made it. But... Either way, I did say I wanted to like talk about the run actually while I'm going through it for once. Because it's been a while since I've like semi-commentated a Yana run. But anyways, we just did the tutorial. There's a bunch of stuff you're supposed to do in Windhill, which is the area we were just in. But uh, we can skip that. All the fun conversations if we just use that chicken we did to skip through there. Uh, we're now in Hedgehog Forest. We have to kill these snakes for this key, but we're actually going to take the key out of where we normally would go to. Bring it in here. Uh, now we've sequence broken a key and sequence breaking and kind of doing these unintended solutions puzzles is kind of the main crux of this game. How's it going, Joy? Uh, but either way. So we are going to do this now. We're coming back in this room, which seems weird. We the door is open, like we just go. But by doing this trick here, we're able to keep the sequence break that we have going. So we, we get to keep a key. Keys are not attached to just one keyhole. Um, they can go to any of them. So if we're able to get a key out of the room that it's supposed to be in, we're able to use it for the rest of the rooms. Um, as we're going through here, you can also use the keys to do little boosts like you saw there where we're able to gain height off of them. And Yano thankfully can grab stuff that's pretty far below him. So you're able to grab the key again and keep it with us. You do have to be careful though because the key can fall in the water and if it falls in the water, you lose it and you have to redo that section before it. So there's normally a key on that rock there, but there isn't because we brought a key into it and there's only supposed to be like one key per room, I'm pretty sure it's so it doesn't spawn it. So if we enter the room again, it'll be there then. That doesn't work for every room. Sometimes it'll check to see if the keyhole has a key in it and it won't respawn the key like that, uh, even if it wasn't used. Um, but for that one, thankfully, it does not work that way. So we did all this to sequence break the key so we can use it on this final puzzle here, which is a very long puzzle that I don't think any runners of the game actually know how to do. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know that any runners know how to do that puzzle correctly, um, but thankfully, because we sequence break the key, we don't have to. We're going to Nightingale City next, which is the main hub for the entire game, though we're actually not going to spend a lot of time here. Uh, the queen would like an audience with this cute elephant Yano here. I'll check that out afterwards, Jeff. Sounds cool. I'm excited. Uh, this is the exit, actually, to the queen's dungeon. Long story short, Yana normally gets sent to prison during the run. Um, but instead of getting sent to prison... Oh, I actually didn't fall through the floor there. Sometimes you do. <laughs> instead of getting sent to prison, we're actually going to go through the back entrance of the prison where you normally go after the boss fight. Whoops. Uh, come on. Some of these uh, boosts can be a little bit rude if you don't get just the right angle. I think I should be looking a little bit further to the side than I am. Come on, Yano. That would have worked.
Come on. There we go. Don't know why that was so much of a hassle that time around. Very weird. Anyways, this is the final boss of the game, as the category implies. We are doing the last boss first. So I can grab this dynamite as it's going off, and it allows me to grab the next dynamite a little bit quicker, and it also makes the dynamite like twice as large, which is not an intended thing. It's just something silly that happens. Oh, you have to be careful not to let this guy do what he's trying to do there, which is fly off into the stratosphere and... Oh, he's tilted. That's funny. He's taking one of Yano's strats, which is to tilt. There's <laughs> a trick later that I'll be using. That looks exactly like that. I don't know how the boss did that, but you know. Hello? Oh, I like clicked out of the window. Didn't know you could do that. Some lore happens and we can leave. He's tilted. I mean, that's probably what happens when you get set on fire a bit and blown up and all that. I would also get tilted. All right. Let's continue on. So this is the guy we have to talk to that opens up the portal to the end of the game. We're not going to be going there. We have two more bosses to beat up. The next boss we have to beat up is in the robot area, which we'll be going to in just a little bit. And the one before that is in the Sunder Gardens, which is the skeleton spooky area. Um, but this game has a railway network that we'll be making use of because it allows you to go to any locations previously, like any locations that you passed by previously. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go forward as far as possible as we need to, get the rail to both the boss areas and then uh, do those dungeons. That is the, the strap for the rest of the run. So right now we're doing, going. we're gonna get a, 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 a bit of a sampler of like all the different areas in the game though we, we do tend to avoid a lot of the ways for us to do things. This is actually a pretty, tough section so you do tend to take a decent bit of damage as you're going through if you dash as these bullets hit you uh, you're able to avoid damage from them uh, or not sometimes you're able to avoid damage from them but if you dash at the right time, you never get, you don't get knocked back by them, which is the important part because otherwise you're supposed to use a box there to uh, get it out of your way. Also, we're doing this trick here, which kind of a little random with it deciding to work. It'll eventually let you through, but it sometimes punishes you a little bit. So there's these two pressure plates you're supposed to put buckets on top of, but an unfilled bucket doesn't push it down. You're supposed to fill it with water. Uh, instead of filling it with water, you can wedge Yano's head inside of it and it will count as uh, being full. And it, it doesn't recheck to see if it's been emptied because you can't empty it normally. All right, going to murder that dude and then almost die. We're at the, about the lowest health you can get right now. I'm gonna take this fight a little bit safer. Because there's another dude hanging out waiting to beat us up if you get too close. There we go. Hey, I'm gonna try this strat a couple times. Be able to just wiggle around. There we go, cool. Nice you can just do that with D-pad, but you're able to skip all of those puzzles there. Small bit of combat here. And we're pretty much done. We got this guy. Which I'm actually gonna avoid getting hit by for once. Good stuff. This is Thunder Gardens. I don't even know how you get those two keys normally. Uh, to open that door, you just do use the skull to boost yourself up. So because we've beaten the final boss, this guy believes we've beaten the boss in this area too already. 
Now, you might be thinking that's kind of a cheap way to beat the bosses of this game. We're actually going to beat all the bosses normally. We're not going to uh, skip uh, fighting the bosses, even though we technically, the game believes we've beaten all the bosses at this point. Um, we are going to go and you do that, which is fun. Sometimes you fly really high up in there, sometimes you don't. But we are going to take this key that you normally use to go through Acorn Woods. And then once you go through Acorn Woods, you get to the uh, robot area and the robots have their own boss as well. And then you're supposed to, after fighting them, come to Woolly Mountain. So we're actually skipping two different areas by doing this uh, to get to Woolly Mountain early. And the reason we're going to Woolly Mountain instead of the area where that has the um, that has the boss is we can get the rail over here and that's going to that's not the tilt so this is tilting I've not used it yet uh, I need to get angle just right so if you get boosted up by certain oh interest okay that worked <laughs> we got wedged inside of that uh, bush and launched straight up but if you dash off of certain things and then don't move Yana will keep the tilted angle that he has, and you can keep increasing that tilt by bonking against things. And then when you unwind Yano, I guess, if you when you break him out of that, the more tilted you are, the further up you tend to go. So we're going to ignore the key hole there and just put the key on top of it and use it to boost over because it's like a tiny bit quicker. You don't have to go through the uh, the animation of opening it. And this is the rail right here. So we are going to take this over to the robot area, which is right here. So it just unlocks every other rail network for us now, which speeds up this part quite a bit. So this is the second boss you would normally fight. Um, there's no other category that you fight there's no category except for max health, which is kind of the 100% uh, more or less of this run. Um, where you fight any of the bosses, and in that category you fight one. Uh, so this category gets to show off kind of a fun extra bit of uh, things that you normally don't get to see with this. I do like the little tippity tap animation that Yano does. I agree. All right. Take this key on over here. Make our way through here. We do actually have to do some puzzles the intended way, horrifyingly enough. But we'll go back to the sequence breaking thing soon. Actually, right now we will. So as long as you don't take a key out of its specific um, area, and areas in this game are kind of more broad than you would expect. They are just like this entire dungeon's one area, not just like this room. So because you can take the key out of that, we can actually bring it over here to this one. And now we have a key that we're not normally supposed to have here. And we'll be using that for uh, is another one of these key boosts. It let's us get over here. And that's like the back exit of there. I'm actually going to load save here to make sure that I'm moving as quickly as possible because this entire thing's on a cycle. And you can kind of run out of time if you don't start it off quickly enough. There you go. That chest will disappear after too much time. I think I waited a little bit too long to get that key, so we got to wait for the fire now. The entire point of this is getting this key so we can boost ourselves up here and get the uh, balloon, get this gear. We need to get three different gears to get ourselves into the boss area. So that's three different kind of side puzzle rooms you have to go do. Just going to gently bonk that enemy while we go by. And we're actually going to use the same exact key. So because we didn't use the key on any keyhole here, it's still in, the, like, this key still exists. It doesn't get removed. 
Uh, it just gets a respawn there. Oh, wait. Thank you for the raid. I need to get to a section where I can see who raided, because I... Thank you for all the raids. Oh my goodness. Keeps going off. Oops, I forgot to bring a key with us. Uh, we're gonna improvise a little bit. I have to do this puzzle normally. How's it going, everyone? Thank you very much for the raids. Where do I move this to, actually? Oh, it's been so long since I've done this the correct way. Uh, this direction. Thank you, Kuma. Thank you, Briar Woods, for the raids. Appreciate that. It was very kind of you both. Thank you, Romy. Thank you, Romy, for sending everyone over here. We're doing some Yawn on the Celestial Elephants, which is a very cute speedrun. Very cute game in general. A lot of fun, uh, not so intended stuff happening uh, with it, so lots of fun. I hope you all have good streams. Hope you all are doing well today. We're in the middle of a reverse boss order run, so we are doing this game in the complete wrong order. Having a good time with it. And, uh, so we're actually going to use this key finally for the right way. We sequence broke it out twice, but now we're going to actually put it in the correct keyhole and do this part of the puzzle correctly. <laughs> uh, yeah, stream's been going well. We started with a two-hour PB because I did like a practice run of trying to learn everything. And uh, we are now at a 35 minute time. So um, I've learned things a lot better. I used to run this, I ran this for GDQ. Jeez, was it 2020 or 2021? It was a while. It, actually 2021 wouldn't have been that long ago. It was, it was a little bit ago either way, but. Um, and this did a reverse boss order run of this and the category sounded cool, so. I am coming back to learn this and see what happens. But yeah, that is the three gears we have to do here. I'm going to try to do this. It's probably a silly strat to go for, but if you like wiggle off the edge, oh, there we go. You can avoid the fire. If you don't avoid the fire, it just yeets you into the water and it's not a good time. I think it was SGDQ 2022. That sounds right. Either way. Put out some fires. All the good stuff. Go through the door, maybe. We actually have to do a long puzzle here. It's awful. Doing puzzles. Things it the right way. Did I say 2021? I don't remember. Time is not real anymore. I'd say 2022. 2022 is definitely wrong. Uh, whoops, I can't push it off. I gotta drop down here. I ran in the future, yeah. I'm just predicting that Yano reverse boss order is getting into SGDQ 2022. I've already paid my bribe. No, no bribe. Do not bribe elect the officials. I was about to say I wish it was summer, but I don't wish it was summer actually. There we go for some reason. We got a lot more uh, distance on that one than I was expecting. Alright, was the dynamite going to be nice to us this time? Oh wait, I forgot we died during this section last time. Or during the boss fight, rather. We just went and lived ourselves. Hello? <laughs> Alright, gotta wait for this. This is, it seems like a bit of a safety hazard to have a pipe that just shoots fire, and if you blow on a pinwheel, it just comes straight towards you. That seems like not a great design for the factory. I don't know, I've not made any factories in my life. We're all still trying to figure out what the intended way of doing this boss fight is, and like it's possible to like not take damage during it. I don't think it is. Maybe I can like hit it with my face. 
Okay. Getting hit in the face potentially not a good idea. Here we go. Cool. There's a boss fight. Is the cutscene gonna play normally? Nope. Neat. All right. Cool. That is two out of three bosses done. So now we have to go back even further. Cute little minecart and uh, go do the spooky boss. Go through all the fun light puzzles that definitely aren't tough to tell what's going on. <laughs> once I have this, once I have this area like memorized a little bit better, I think it'll maybe be good. I don't know. I just forget where everything is because it. You'll see in a second if you've not seen this before. It's uh, this is about as good as you're allowed to see during it, and it just gets more and more dark from here. Uh, this next room is a good example. Yeah, <laughs> you just like. I don't have great memory, so remembering where I'm supposed to go in these rooms when I can't see it is a challenge. But a lot of these are just light puzzles of either turning lights on or sometimes turning lights off for some reason. Finding these random switches hidden around. But to get out of this room, we just have to turn on all the lights. We go on over here. This is the section that it definitely had the most time saves possible here. The most amount of mistakes were made here. <laughs> Other than like the very end of the run, but that was some silly stuff happened. Not gonna talk about it. I will also point out that Yano intentionally was made to run like a dog instead of like an elephant. I don't even know how an elephant runs to be honest, but I think the dev just thought it was like cuter or cool. Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, I guess I can just bounce the box on his head and just murder him. I didn't know that was a thing, but I guess that's fine. Why did I do that? <laughs> Why did I push it early? Oh wait, this kind of works? Maybe? I think I can make this work. Wait, is this a strat? Probably not. This is probably slower if I had to guess. Right? I didn't realize when it respawned, it would respawn with the water. Huh. Interesting. I might have to time that. The worst part of speedrunning, timing things. Yeah, when the when you push the water bucket into the hole, it respawns back upstairs and uh, there's a water in it. Thank you, Romanti, for the good luck. Hope you've been doing well. I need the health. Thanks. <laughs> All right, time to do some tilts. The most cursed thing. All right. This is what I was talking about before. Yano, currently tilted. Yano is also below the torch, which is probably not good. There we go. First tilt, good. Maybe not good, it worked. But yeah. Preserve the, like, weird tilted direction. It allows you to just kinda do that. <laughs> Launch in the air. We're gonna use it a couple more times here. Hopefully if we don't do it wrong and I don't like give up and do the puzzle normally We'll see All right. We have the most complicated puzzle ever here Amazing How does he do it? We have another tilt here, which has a very weird setup where you just go on top of this switch and suddenly you were tilted. I think I'm still tilted. Yes. If you move around too much, you lose the tilt. So you have to make like small adjustments. There we go. 
Cool. Tilt number two done. One more to go. Hi, buddy. Goodbye. Oh yeah, you can. I love that you can break their animations just like you can break the guard animations. While while the enemy is like aggroing on you and like going like, "Hey, I'm gonna fight you." If you hit them, they just get kind of locked in their animation. There you go. They just kind of surf around a little bit. It's pretty good. Now we get a boat ride. All right, if this one tilt goes well, then life's going to be good. If it doesn't go well, I don't know. I don't know why I waited respectfully for the boat to go all the way through there. I can do this. There we go. The angle you have to take there is a little, little weird. It's probably just worth waiting rather than doing that, but... Get the key, don't get the skull. Awesome. Big time save. Big gains. Alright, now we have to do... Yeah. Look at this line I take. I wait, I wait, I wait. Right when the snake tries to back boost me. The double. It's been a while since I watched Streets 112. Nah, that's unfortunate. Every once in a while I gotta watch it. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, Yano. That should be enough. Yep. <clears throat> All right, now it's just in the hands of the tilt and getting enough height off of it. Darn, I don't know why I did it that way. I was completely wrong. I think I lost the tilt, yeah. Even if I didn't lose it, I missed where I was aiming. for this tilt just to see if I can get lucky and get it. Nope. I got enough height on that one to do the other skip I was trying to do, which is kind of unfortunate. Be sad if I didn't get past there. It really, I overcomplicated that a lot. It's unfortunate. Okay, so just gonna do this normally. I don't know where we're gonna be time-wise. That was all a lot of attempts, unfortunately. Actually, I think it's just as fast to go this direction. I think we should still be ahead after this. I don't know if we saved or lost too much time yet. I've, I'm still kind of learning how long it takes to go from here to the end. I don't think there's much left, really. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's a bunch of puzzle rooms you normally go through that that tilt skips, but it's like the toughest one of the bunch. <laughs> Getting some double dashes though, which is nice. Um, I do need to remember to do this correctly though. I actually want to take a hit there. I think? I think that would technically save me time to take a hit. They want to die later. I don't know if taking a fourth of a heart actually helps any. I, no, falling does half a heart of damage, so it actually doesn't do any difference. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, those fireballs only do a fourth of heart of damage anyways, either. Move it enough. Oh, I moved it too much. Never mind. The opposite problem. I'm just intentionally taking hits. Don't worry about it. This is a, this is perfectly exactly what I meant to do. Because I'm gonna be like one fall away from dying, or one hit away from dying. Same thing. See, calculated. Our health is exactly where it needs to be now. <laughs> okay, time for a couple death warps. Really wish there was a slightly faster way to die here, like there was a tough enemy somewhere that could kill me. Unfortunately, the closest enemy is a snake. Well, there's, there's another person we could run to, but I don't, I think it's probably slower to go out of our way to go to a better place to die. <laughs> All right, so that'll take us back to here. And now we can go to the end of the game. That tilt had just gone a little bit better. Or not, or any amount better. That would have been pretty fast run, honestly. I mean, it's still good. I mean, it's a whole entire minute and a half improvement, but there's so much. There's like a better gold split in uh, the crypt area. Hey, look, it's those people that we've like basically never met this entire run. Hmm. <sighs> Cool. So that's the end of the run. So this will be like a low 34. Oh wait, I forgot that I lost as much time here. No, it's a 33 and a half. I thought I had a normal end of the run. There you go. Yeah, that's technically record. 